Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how to control the devices in your home from anywhere in the world using the IoT technology. For this thing I am using the ESP8266 IoT module, a MQTT broker and OpenHAM. Here I will also show you some MQTT dashboards in Android, OpenHAM client in Android and OpenHAM in PC for the controlling of the devices. So this is the basic setup. This is the ESP8266 IoT module. And this is the this is a four channel relay board for controlling four devices. And the four LEDs are also given for knowing different statuses. So how it works is when we power on the circuit, first it will try to establish a connection with internet through a Wi-Fi router. The login details of the Wi-Fi router must be pre-configured. For configuring the Wi-Fi router login credentials and MQTT broker details, we have a management page programmed in the ESP8266 that I will show you later. So what happens is, once the IoT module establishes a connection with the internet, the next step is to connect with a pre-configured MQTT broker. If either of these steps fail after trying for around 20 or 25 seconds, the IoT module will change to the access point mode. In this mode, the IoT module broadcasts a management web page in its default IP address, that is 192.168.4.1. So we can connect to the IoT module using a laptop or mobile, etc., uh, and can feed new login credentials of a working Wi-Fi router and a MQTT broker. Now we can see these things here. Let's turn on the circuit first. Uh, I have powered the circuit with a 5 volt adapter, so let's switch it to on first. So after waiting for some seconds, uh, now you can see that the IoT module has changed to the AP mode now. This is because I have not configured any valid Wi-Fi router or MQTT broker details. So we can see how to do it in this sale. Uh, we, how we can um, enter the new details in this stage now. See now the IoT module started to work in the AP mode and is broadcasting its SSID. We can see that here in the Wi-Fi connection list. So after entering the new Wi-Fi and MQTT broker details, we need to restart the device. So let's restart now and wait for a few seconds. Let's see whether it establishes the connection with the Wi-Fi router and MQTT broker. Yeah, Wi-Fi is established and MQTT is also connected. Now let's connect our PC back to internet and take the cloud MQTT broker's website. While configuring the MQTT broker details, I have given the cloud MQTT broker connection details to your IoT module previously. Now let's publish MQTT commands to your IoT device and let's see whether it is working. The topic I have given is slash home slash dining for test purpose. And for controlling four relays, I have given the number 1 to 4 for turning off 5 to 8. Let's see it's working now. Now I have given the number 1 and press the send message. See, when I send the one, the relay one turned on. And when two is sent, relay two is turned on now. 
and and three is given to slash home slash dining topic. Only three stand out. And for the number four. Relay four is turned on now. And when five is sent, first device is turned off. And for the message six, second device is turned off. And for message seven, third device is turned off. And for eight, fourth is off. So slash home slash dining, we have again giving. The message one and first device is turned on. So like that. So slash home slash dining is the message topic here. Now let's see how to control the devices using a MQTT Android application by connecting to the cloud MQTT server. Plenty of MQTT dashboard apps are available in Play Store and you can use any of that for this purpose. Now I will show you how to control the devices by establishing a connection with locally installed MQTT broker Mosquito and by using OpenHAP which is also locally installed in my system. For that we need to manually change the IoT device to AP mode by pressing the settings button in few seconds. See that uh, the IoT device has started in AP mode and started to broadcast its SSID. Let's connect to it now. Mosquito broker and uh, open hub is already installed in my system. You can see that here. So after connecting the IoT devices uh, access point, take the management page again and take uh, and enter the default IP address that is 192.168.4.1. Now you can see the management page and enter the Wi-Fi connection details that is same. And in the MQTT server details give the local IP address of the system in which the Mosquito broker is running. And uh, its port number, the default is 1883. And the topics for publishing and subscription. Now the settings are saved and we need to restart the IoT device as usual. As I have told before, the OpenHAB and Mosquito Broker is already running in the PC. You can see this is the OpenHAB and it is already running. And now we can take the OpenHAB. Its default port is 8080. We can give the local IP address of the PC and the port number for taking the OpenHAB. This is the interface you will see. And you need to uh, first configure the open app for some basic items and uh, need to create a sitemap this is the sitemap i have created i have created four switches here and now we can try pressing these switches for light one you can see that the first relay has turned on and for each switches I have configured in such a way that the each four relays in the in our circuit will turn on. So this is how we can use open hub for controlling the devices. Uh, we can also use the open hub's Android application for controlling the devices. So 
this is the open app android application actually it will work in synchronous with the uh, open app that is installed in our pc so let's take the application you can see that the interface we got in this application is same as that of the pc when i press the first switch the first relay turned on and in the pc also pc application also the status of switch has changed for switch to relay to turned on and like that can see that when I press the switches in the PC application also the status will change simultaneously hi guys thanks for watching my video so now you have seen how we can control the devices from any part of the world over internet uh, you have seen how the open have home application home automation application works and there are two brokers one is the cloud mptt broker and the mosquito broker which you have installed in my pc locally and uh, how all these things work together and also the esp a26612v uh, board which is used to drive our relays uh, so the purpose of my this video is to just show you an overview of all these things and how it works so if you need more details about uh, this project please don't hesitate to contact me so thanks for watching my video once again. Bye bye friends.